Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about some situation when should you use a content providing agreement. And I'm gonna show you some situation when you should use it. In the other video, we're gonna talk more about the content providing agreement itself and how you should use it and how agreement works. So let's go to the drawing board. As you can see, this is the content agreement, but we're not going to discuss it in the video. We're just going to talk about, okay, when should you use a content providing agreement? So imagine this is you and this is company X and company X needs an agreement or company X needs content. Let's say company X needs content and you can provide this content. You can create this content for the company X and they're going to pay you for it. First time you will do it without an agreement. That's not a problem. But if you keep doing it without an agreement, sometimes there will be problem and you need to think about, is it worth doing this without an agreement? So for example, let's say if you don't have an agreement, this is an agreement. If you do have an agreement, when something goes wrong, you can look in the agreement. That's simple, right? But if you don't have an agreement, how are you going to solve it? You need to look into the law. You need to figure out, okay, what's normal case and what can I do and what's allowed, what isn't. Because a lot of times, not going to work for you. I can tell you that right now. So what you need to keep in mind is, make sure you have agreement when you have an agreement you can look into the agreement and save a lot of money and other stuff for example let's say someone doesn't pay you let's say one company doesn't pay you on time or you need that money you don't have an agreement you need to go after them and it's hard to say hey you need to pay me for those kind of services because you need to look in the conversation what kind of agreement do i have with them and that costs a lot of money a lot of time you don't want that right so if you are creating content, it can be anything like text for a website, like videos or pictures or whatever. You need a contract. It's not like I'm selling you something. What I'm saying is you should have a contract because when you have a contract, you know, okay, they're going to keep their part of the bar, uh, deal. Most time people do when they have a contract, but if they don't have a contract, they're going to be like, I don't care. You can come after me. And you don't want that. So when you create a content for other people, make sure you have an agreement. I want to show you a general agreement that you can use, but keep in mind there are some specific agreement for photographer, there's some specific agreement for writers, there's some specific agreement for people that create videos, content for another company. Even if we create a sponsor ad, make sure you have a contract and make sure you have a good business model behind it because when you have a good business model behind it and they don't pay you, does it work? So think about those things. So in other videos, I will discuss more about the layout, the structure of a contract. So you know how it works and where you can find certain kind of things in a contract. If you have question about it, feel free to contact me. So I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe or do it. It's free. Subscribe, like the video and join the Discord. Ask me a question about it if you want to know more about your contract. See you in the next one. Bye.